Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video of mine. My name is David Stronach. I am an artist and happen to be a huge fan of Transformers. And today I'm going to be doing a drawing of Transformers Robot in the Skies 2001 Scourge, also known as Black Convoy or Nemesis Prime. Basically, just a black version of Optimus Prime, an evil version in that case. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the drawing. All right, starting things off here, I'm going to be doing the underlying drawing in uh, in pencil. Usually, I have not shown this part in my previous videos, just because I normally use a non fold blue pencil to do my underlying drawings, just because I like to leave my uh, my underlying drawings and not erase them at the end after I've drawn it in ink, just because I like to leave the uh, the, the underlying drawing there, it's kind of like, kind of like show the process within the drawing of how I got to the final, the final drawing. And it just also allows me to scan in my drawings into, onto my computer without the scanner picking up the pencil lines. That's why I say, call it a non-photo blue, uh, pencil. But anyway, so this time I kind of wanted to show what, what my process is, where I get from being a blank piece of paper to the actual final drawing. So I start off with drawing robots and transformers just like this. I start off with doing a gesture drawing, a pose, and a sti of a stick figure, and then I block in just simple major shapes of what the robot looks like in terms of his overall physique, his structure, and then I just break it down uh, smaller and smaller from the bigger shapes to the smallest, even detail, just making sure everything is there to look like the character. But I rough in the major shapes first, like these giant shoulder pylons that he has. They're just giant rectangles, and then I break them down even further to the next shapes and the next shapes until it looks like what is basically the front end of the vehicle mode, which is a truck. So it's just a whole front end of the truck on his shoulders, basically split in half. But anyway, so uh, this character is basically like a Nemesis Prime or Black Convoy, which is like a black version of Optimus Prime. There's been many different toys of Optimus Prime that have eventually had a repaint or redecoed of Optimus Prime in a black with teal and red colors, making this very evil Decepticon version of uh, of Optimus Prime. Uh, as you can see here, now I'm roughing his head, which is a very Optimus Prime style head sculpt. But this, this version of Nemesis Prime or Black Convoy actually had a character of him in a show of Transformers Robot in the Skies, or also known as Black, uh, Car Robots in Japan. And it was a very different take on Transformers at the time because Hasbro was eventually try, uh, almost like, like the brand was kind of like dying over here. And we really need, uh, Hasbro really needed a way to bring it back. Uh, so basically what they did was take this cartoon called Robot, Car Robots that the car was making and brought over here in the U.S. and just named uh, this this fire convoy as Optimus Prime, which was a, basically a, a character that turned into a fire truck, but he looked like Optimus Prime. And then this other character, which was leader of the Predacons, uh, Gigatron over in Japan, and then we basically Hasbro named him Megatron, just having another Optimus Prime versus Megatron type of character in a series. That's that's what uh, basically sells the show is those two characters. Uh, so in the show, though, the it was basically Autobots versus Predacons, which is which is different than other Transformers, uh, other cartoons where it's mostly Autobots versus Decepticons and Maximals versus Predacons in like Beast Wars. But in this instance, we had Autobots versus Predacons, and then the Predacons got a hold of these stasis pods that had Autobots in them, and use Megatron used his powers to turn them all into Decept the first Decepticons, and one of them happened to be of Scourge, and when it's and usually when they before they emerge, they scan vehicles, and Scourge uh, and that Megatron used it to scan a tanker truck. And they and as it scanned the tanker truck, it also ended up scanning Optimus Prime because the truck was being driven by a secondary like human character that was almost about to be tipped over when Optimus Prime went ahead and 
uh, saved it from being tipped over. So then, but then the stasis spot ended up scanning both the truck and Optimus Prime. So then, when Scourge emerged from the stasis pod and transformed, he ended up having the look of Optimus Prime, but as this black, uh, evil version of him. But, but overall, though, he was a really cool character. Uh, he had this giant red sword called Sword of Fury, which I'll show, which I'm basically was drawing here, him having here in his hand. But he also has these giant shoulder pylons that have like these, uh, that he's able to also shoot missiles out of. Uh, but yeah, it's basically just the shoulder pylons are basically like the entire front part of the vehicle because you, uh, when he transforms, you basically split the, uh, the whole front of the vehicle in half and then they become part of his shoulders. So he just has these giant, uh, these giant shoulders, <laughs> but they're cool though, because you can shoot missiles out of them. Um, but also I'm basically just drawing in the major, uh, the final, uh, the finer lines using pen, uh, still using the pencil, just trying to plot out the major, uh, the main lines and details of this character. Now I'm doing the same thing with the uh, legs. But as you saw uh, uh, a few minutes ago, basically I erased the entire drawing and redrew it. And I do I do that a lot when I do like sketches like this. Is I just go in and rough it out, see how it's going to go. But then it ends up being either too far to the left or too far to the right. And so I erased the entire thing and bring it over to the right some more. But anyway, so got all the lines down. So now I'm going in and... Black, you know, starting to do use ink. Usually, I do the line art first and then go in with the heavy blacks. But this time, I'm going with heavy blacks because I already know where my light source is. And I just really want to basically have it to where the entire front of this uh, character is just cast in shadow. Since he is already a dark, uh, uh, dark colored character, I just really want him to kind of show that here with. Uh, darking the entire front of the vehicle like the shoulders here his entire front of his face and now doing his arms his hand and just uh, doing all, all kinds of shadows <laughs> because this character is meant to look evil and that's how I want him to look uh, because I always have like this vision in my head of him just being in a uh, a uh, alley scene where it's at night and all you see is basically his red eyes and his red sword and so that's kind of what I'm doing here <laughs> is trying to create as if like he all you see eventually we'll see is just his sword and his eyes when I'm done here but overall though this this character was a very interesting character in Robot in Skies he definitely was Felt like an evil, sinister version of Octonus Prime. If Octonus Prime didn't have like the calling for uh, uh, to be very heroic and peace, he's more he's more uh, more the uh, scourge is more self-centered and more about himself. And but he's still a he's still a good leader as he leads uh, these other Decepticons that the Predacons turned from Autobots, which were uh, which all turn into military vehicles and would combine into a more giant robot called Ruination. The toy of Ruination was basically just a re repaint, a rehash of Bruticus from the original G1 cartoon. Because that's all the uh, the series was, was taking all these older uh, Beast Machines and Beast Wars toys and some other toys and just merging them into the show. Uh, so and it ended up becoming a very wacky and crazy show, but we got some really cool uh, characters like Scourge here out of them, and I'm, 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 I'm there basically had a toy of this character when I was a kid. So uh, being able to buy pick up the, a new one that they've made throughout the the uh, Legacy Transformers Legacy toy line, uh, and being able to actually uh, draw in for the first time is really cool, and. This wouldn't be actually the first time I've drawn this character. This is like the second time I've drawn this character, but of a different toy. Like uh, the other version was a very small little uh, truck that would that would look like this 
a version of Skirt of this character. But that was like a, uh, like four years ago. And so like when I post this on Instagram, I'll also do like a side by side comparison of the older drawing compared to this one. All right, so now I'm going in and doing the red and the sword using a red Sharpie to kind of show the, that, the color of it because in the show, you just, it was all just pure red and you just call it Sword of Fury. Is sort of fury, which makes which makes sense of why it's red. Okay, now I'm just creating these cast shadows from casting from his his legs, as if to kind of more emphasize that the light sources come from behind him, and so like his shadow, his casting shadow would be somewhere somewhere far in front of him. So now I'm just going out and doing the outline of him in the uh, just making it thicker. And just shading inside these these cylinders on his sh shoulder pylons, and just adding a few more uh, details here and there. But yeah, just a really fun drawing. I'm glad I got a chance to uh, draw this character. I've been wanting to do so ever since I got the new the new toy, uh, just because I want I really wanted to uh, just emphasize the look of him, the evil look of him. But I don't know that that is. Basically, well, I guess I'm drawing in some more details, doing uh, doing another black line around the sword, and just adding more red to the swords in his chest, uh, and then erasing some of the pencil marks. But anyway, so there you have it. That is the final drawing of Transformers Robot in the Sky Skirt or Black Convoy. And there you guys have it. that was basically my drawing of Transformers Robot in the Skies 2001 Scourge or Car Robots in Japan uh, Black Convoy or Nemesis Prime, whatever you basically want to call him. He's basically just a black repainted version of Optimus Prime. But if you guys would like to see a further look at today's drawing, please check out either my Instagram or Facebook and the links to those will be down in the video description down below. Other than that though, if you guys liked the video, go ahead and smash the like button to pieces and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought about this video. And please subscribe to this channel if you want to see more videos like this. And if you guys would like to further support this channel, you can check out my comic book called Twister A New Awakening issue number one. And the link to my eBay store for this comic will be down in the video description where you can pick up a copy of this today. But other than that though, I thank you guys for watching this video and I'll catch you guys all next time.